Hi everybody, it's Lavinia. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be using the Master's Touch acrylic markers. And these are the Hobby Lobby brand. They have sort of like a bullet nib here. And if you saw my video yesterday, you saw that I used them to just draw a whimsical cat with some flowers as well as a, a fish or you know, shark or dolphin kind of. But uh, for today, I planned out some drawings to do. So this first one here, I got, I just did a quick sketch from this book that I have, Birds of Arizona. And I picked the American Robin. So I guess this is the female. So I just drew a quick sketch with my number, I think it's a 2H pencil. And I am going to post this in my on my community page. So if you did want to, um, you know, use this sketch, whether it's for watercolor, markers, anything like that, you're, you're more than welcome to go ahead and, and use it. But I'm going to go ahead and use these acrylic markers. So I try to plan out more um, how I'm going to use the marker. So I have my oranges here, my blues up here, my greens and my browns to, to the side, and then yellows and purples and pinks off to the side as well. I don't know that I'm going to be using the purples and pinks, but my other colors are, are just set up here on this tray. So... And of course, I'm not going for a realistic look, but again, just to test out these markers, just to see if they fade, if um, if the nibs fray, and okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So, and I do like this blue background here as well, so that's why I have the blues, but yeah, so let's go ahead and start with that. So maybe I will, and in this picture, it has cherries, which we do have a cherry tree out in our backyard, and they do love cherries, but I'm just putting leaves. So this is day two of my test. I think I'm going to uh, just do one or two drawings or paintings, I guess, uh, for over the next two weeks, and if not longer, at least on a daily basis, just to see if they fade, if there's any issues with them. As I mentioned, um, someone had commented that she had these, and the colors, I think it was in the brown, changed to... I, I think like a sage green, um, the nibs were fraying. So it could depend on the paper. Um, I know with my alcohol markers, sometimes I notice that I accidentally think that I push them in, but I don't. So I know like with my Sharpies, that's happened a couple of times where I go to use them the next day and the and they weren't closed all the way. But these, pretty much, you, you do hear a click. So I'm gonna start with this blue here. And this is the Hobby Lobby brand mixed media paper. going to color that in. Today we did get some rain which was nice because it was over 100 degrees and we haven't had, well I think last Monday, this past Monday we did get some rain but our monsoons have really not started like they have in past years but this winter we got more snow than we normally did. Um, more snow days. Usually we get maybe one or two good snow days but it melts quite quickly over here. So, hopefully we'll get some. Again, you just want to watch, watch your hands as you're, um, if the paint is still wet, it will, it will get on your hands. Oops. 
All right, well, let's start into the bird. Let's see. So there's some oranges here. So I'm going to start maybe with this lightest orange that I have. Probably should have started here, but um, we'll see. I have some, some wax paper. I can put my hand on here. There's a couple of dogs barking out in our neighbor's yard. Then I'm going to just maybe put a little bit of a darker orange. That's a brighter orange, actually. Here. What that looks like now. Yeah, that's more of a. Well, I could, I could put it down here where the shadows are. And I can always go over it with more um, other colors if I need to. So let's try out the browns because I know she had mentioned that some of the browns had seemed to change color. So let's try this branch here. And let me try the other brown. So this is a lighter brown. Let's see what this looks like. So you can layer this. So, so far it still maintained its color, but as I mentioned, I haven't been using them that frequently. And at the end of the two weeks or so, we'll see. Um, right now it looks like there's plenty of paint in them. Try out some of these greens. I'm going to go over this one because this is too much of a bluish green, which sort of blends into into that sky color.
And sorry for the dog barking, but the cats are outside. Now that it's a little bit, the air has cooled down with the with the rain, so I opened up the the door to the back patio so they can just sit outside on the screened-in porch. My husband's watching some sort of sports game because I hear him complaining. <laughs> All right. So let me put that back in order. All right, so I think what I'll do is I'll just, just so, not to make the video that long, but I'll continue painting the, the background in the blue and I'll be back. Okay, so I finished painting in that blue for the background um, and the leaves. So let's go ahead and maybe start, I'm gonna go ahead and put this tail in with the brown. like there's some lighter feathers there. I wonder if you can mix these mix these together like on a plastic palette to get different colors. Like different tone variations. Let's see. Probably put a little bit of a black outline here just to delineate those feathers there. Wait for that to dry. And so here. Maybe a few feathers here. That dog has been constantly barking. Just roughly trying to get the idea of the feathers. Stormy's pawing at my leg. I guess she's hungry. It's her dinner time. <laughs> Just dotting in this lighter color, just again to just give a little bit of assemblage of feathers here. And maybe down here I'll put a little bit of this lighter color as well. This area here is a little bit lighter, so I'm just gonna come on up here. 
this lighter brown. Okay, maybe a little bit more here. I hear some thunder. Black. Just putting a couple of dots here. I don't know that I actually like the black on it because I think it's a little bit too stark. But I'll probably go over it with the brown. Even the pupil. Might do that and then just go over it with brown. Oh, not this light brown, the darker brown. I am using my acrylic markers here, but you're not limited to that. I mean, if you wanted to make a mixed media piece, um, you know, you can use jelly roll pens, fine line markers on top of it as well. Just gonna see, what did I do with my black? Here it is. Just wanna deepen that color of the eye. Okay, and then for the beak, orange here. I like the way the bird actually has this pattern of feathers that you can see. It's a little bit darker down here. like so a deeper orange
going to put this darker brown just a little bit here for shadow right on top of the wet acrylic that's already there with the orange. And I'm going to use my white just to make the dot in the eye stand out just a little bit more. And even though there's the white of the paper, I am gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of this white here as well. And maybe just down here as well, a little bit. Okay. And I think I don't know if I really want to use black for there but I just want to put just a little I'll be too light it's probably a little bit too thick so we will go back let's see was it this one to make it a tad bit lighter. And then this little claws. Okay, I think I'm going to, I would like to do this type of background, but it's not watercolor or oil painting where, again, you can mix. I was, um, I'm going to go ahead, I think, and try out and see if I can put acrylic on a plastic palette and, and mix them that way, because that would be a kind of a cool effect, I think, to have that, but. I do like the way that this turned out. I hope you did too. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm just going to cover up a little bit more of these little white spaces that are here. But this again is our little American Robin using the Master's Touch acrylic uh, paint pens. And again, they seem to, at least for this third drawing, seem to work out okay. For tomorrow's drawing, I already have something planned out. I drew this whimsical um, turtle. So I will also um, post a picture of this on my community page if that's something that you want to um, um, try out uh, along with me so that you can take a, you know, you can take a snapshot of it and and print it if you'd like to, or just follow along with me. It is going to get covered up by the paint pens. If you have a specific color, that color scheme that you want me to try this out with, uh, leave it in the comments section below. But uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.